When it comes to building 3D prototypes on a budget, nothing beats investing in a solid 3D printer. Regardless of whether you're looking for the budget 3D printers, or just want to have the best 3D printer that money can buy, we have an option for you. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the top 3 best 3D printers in the market today. You can find links to the products in the description. If there's any other product you'd like us to review, please comment down below. So, without further ado, let's get started with the list. The Form 2 delivers high-resolution parts at a fraction of the cost and footprint of industrial 3D printers. It allows you to scale your prototyping and production in-house with desktop stereolithography. The Form 2 is an SLA printer, which means it prints by firing an ultraviolet laser into a thin layer of liquid resin between the print head and the bottom of the print tray. Once hit by the UV light, the resin solidifies. The Form 2 shares the same simple overall design as its predecessor, with an orange plastic hood sitting over the simple silver box that holds the laser and electronics. Both are slightly bigger than on the Form 1 Plus, and a color touch screen has replaced the LCD display. This screen means that you can start, stop, and pause prints from the printer itself, which makes controlling things much easier. During printing, the screen shows the progress of the print, and an estimate of how long is left. We found that the Form 2 produced prints of excellent quality, with very fine detail and excellent reproduction of our test model's shapes. The printed parts needed little trimming or cleaning, and fitted together well. It's also quite a bit faster than the first generation, somewhere around 30 to 40 percent. This speed boost comes from the machine's more powerful laser, which solidifies the photopolymer resin about 50 percent faster, and with more precision. The Form 2 is, hands down, one of the most detailed, and dimensionally accurate printers we've ever used. The resolution is so good, you can barely see layers. Fine details come through in ways that FDM printers can only dream of. Bridges, and unsupported spans? Bring it on! Tiny objects with extremely precise dimensions? Absolutely no problem. Overall, although it might be a bit expensive, there's just no other alternative to Form 2. As a beginner, all you have to do to set up the Form 2 is unbox it, plug it in, install a print bed, and slide the resin tank into place, then connect it to USB, or a network. It's all very simple. The Form 2 is an excellent 3D printer, that can produce high-quality prints with very clean, sharp edges, and fine reproduction of subtle details and we can't recommend it enough. Ray's 3D based out of Costa Mesa, California specializes in creating machines for professional users. All machines come with a fully enclosed design for improved safety, when printing in materials such as ABS in an office environment. The N2 like other Ray's 3D machines, comes with excellent build quality, a feature repeatedly highlighted by its users. The frame is made of aluminum with the enclosure comprised of ABS, acrylic, and polycarbonate. The all-metal hot end and overall build quality has also meant that all users have heralded the N2's precision and print quality. As with most machines, users have some minor frustration points. The two predominant areas of concern addressed were the size of the machine and software. The first being somewhat of a given when you think that the build volume itself is considered to be a major advantage. The latter it was highlighted by one of its users it's a great machine that meets every criterion of grading, though the touchscreen control panel can be erotic in operation. Overall the Ray's 3D N2 is a robust prosumer 3D printer, that provides its users with excellent print quality, and a high quality build finish. It works straight out of the box, and is a good choice for those looking to create engineering grade prototypes, or parts on a desktop machine. Ultimaker 3 offers more flexibility and dual extruder support than its predecessor, making it a very attractive 3D printer for serious users. It's not cheap, though. The Ultimaker 3 has the same white plastic design as the Ultimaker 2, along with built-in LED lights that give it a sci-fi look. The standard model that we looked at measures about 13.5 by 15 by 15.5 inches, so it will take up a fair chunk of your desk space. Much to your delight, the UM3 will be up and running almost immediately after leaving the box. 
Ultimaker put in some extra effort to make its latest machine more simple, and approachable for beginners, and it shows. All you really need to do is insert the glass build plate, plug the machine in, and flip the power switch. The printer will take care of the rest. You'll be very impressed with the Ultimaker 3's print quality. The printer will handle all of your difficult test models smoothly, producing very attractive prints with great detail, and smooth, clean surfaces. Even in the fastest draft mode, you'll found that the prints will look great, with very few glitches, or problems. Overall, the Ultimaker 3 is a formidable machine, supports a lot of materials, has flexible, easy-to-use software, and the dual extrusion system capably lives up to the quality of its single extrusion predecessors. Build quality is solid, and performance, and reliability are excellent. However, dual extrusion on the Ultimaker 3 comes at the cost of speed, think double, triple, or even quadruple the print times.